Hey guys, it's Liv. Welcome back to my channel. Last week I did a video that was kind of just, I tried to make it a little bit more artsy. I didn't do an intro, so I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a while. So, uh, hi. Today is the last day of January, and as you guys know, on this channel, I focus January around meal planning and being organized. And so today's video is quick and easy dinner ideas that won't take a lot of time or ingredients, and these are things that you can whip up when you get home from work or school or if you've just had a really busy day. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I really quick want to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Audible. If you guys stay tuned till the end, I will be telling you how to get a free audiobook so super exciting but um yeah that is everything I have to say for now let's get into the video okay so this recipe is super easy to make and only takes one pot so let's get into it you're going to start with a little bit of oil or water in your pot and then add the onions and cook those until they become translucent then you can add your herbs and spices. So I used oregano, parsley, garlic, salt, and pepper. And then you want to add your veggies. I decided to use carrots for this. Um, and then I added in my canned diced tomatoes, and the dried pasta, the veggie stock, some water, and then you want to add any frozen veggies you're using. So I decided on green beans. Then you want to bring that to a simmer and then once it's simmering, turn it to medium so that it stays at kind of a low simmer and cook it for about 15 to 20 minutes until the pasta is cooked and just stir it so that it doesn't burn or stick to the bottom. I suggest serving it with some fresh basil if you have some on hand. Obviously, if not, you can just put some dried basil into the soup. And I actually wanted to be super extra today and add in some grilled cheese croutons pretty much just make a grilled cheese sandwich and cut it up and put it in the soup but this takes it to a whole new level it is so so good This recipe is my new favorite. It is so easy. Basically, you just want to start with a frying pan on medium heat and add a little bit of oil and then add in some vegan chicken. Of course, you can use like tofu or another type of substitute if you can't find vegan chicken, but these are the Eve's nuggets for those of you wondering. And then add in some cashews and I added a little bit of red cabbage. You can also add whatever else you like in here, but I find that the chicken and cashew mixture is really good. Good together and then I'm adding some of the maple sriracha sauce that was in my vegan sauces video two videos ago uh, I will pop that up in the corner here and then I will also link it in the description box below but you're basically just going to put that all over top and cook it for a few minutes then just add some sesame seeds this is optional but again it just adds a nice little crunch you can serve this over noodles or rice, but my new favorite way to eat it is in lettuce cups. So this is butter lettuce, and I just um, got some leaves that were super round and kind of able to be folded almost like a taco and I just put the mixture inside of those and topped it with some green onion so it comes together in under 15 minutes and it tastes absolutely incredible. For this recipe, we are starting off with some portobello mushrooms. Mine were in the back of my fridge, so they got a little bit frozen. That's okay, it still worked. And you just want to slice those up into slices like I am doing here. Then we are going to put those in a frying pan, and then you can add a splash of water and add the mushrooms with that and then just put a lid on top or some sort of cover on top then when they are almost done so it takes about five minutes you want to add some barbecue sauce this is the kind i use i've been trying to show you guys the brands that i use because you guys always ask for the brands of the products and i don't usually show them so i'm trying to show them more to help you guys out but um, yeah, you're just going to put on the barbecue sauce and cook it for another like three to five minutes. Cut some sub buns or you can also use burger buns and put the barbecue mushroom mixture in here. This honestly freaks me out. It looks so much like meat to me, even though I know it's mushrooms. <laughs> and then I'm topping it with my favorite Earth Island mozzarella shreds. 
Then I just put it in my toaster oven for about five minutes until the cheese was melted and the buns got a little bit more toasted. And then to serve it, I just put some of my leftover basil on top. I really recommend basil for this. If you have fresh basil, it tastes really, really good with the barbecue sauce. And then I just put a few little extra pieces of cheese to make it look fancy. And yeah, that is that. Super easy. Again, it comes together in about 15 minutes. So it is a perfect, super quick dinner. So I hope these recipes are helpful to you guys with your meal planning. Like I said, January for me has been about being organized and meal planning was one of my New Year's resolutions. So I'm doing pretty well with that. The idea of New Year's resolutions really ties in with the sponsor of today's video, which as I mentioned is Audible. And I'm excited to share this book with you that has really been inspiring me so far in the new year. The book is called You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. It's a self-help book that talks about why we are the way we are, how we can love things about ourselves that we can't change, and also how to change things about ourselves that we don't love, and basically how to stop doubting your greatness. Right now, Audible is giving you guys the chance to get this audiobook for free if you go to audible.com slash live or you can text LIV to 500 500. I highly recommend this book as I said but if you get it and you don't end up liking it you can actually do an exchange for any audiobook that you like and the best part is you get to keep your book forever whether or not you sign up for a membership with Audible so it's a great deal and I really hope you guys take advantage of it and start your new year right. So that is everything for me today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to check out Audible, the link is in the description box below. If you are not following me already on Instagram, my Instagram is at itslivb, and I would love if you guys make these recipes, if you could take a photo and tag me so that I can see your recreations. As always, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you guys in my next video.